and I was just <laughs> glad you know I met a gal from old Bordeaux. She had blonde hair and blue eyes too. Let me ride on the ring dang do, the ring dang do. Now what is that? Soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and split in two. That's what you call ring dang do. So we may as well talk a little bit about that. Chip the survival stuff. Just uh, okay. Like, what were you expecting from Red Dead? Oh, and it's hard to remember that now, isn't it? After finishing the game, like uh, this is this is a really weird um, thing for me because there was so much time, and we spent so long before the game came out, not having a clue what the game was. Okay, yeah, that's so true. so that that takes precedence in your mind. That creates this whole kind of phantom image in your mind of expectation. Uh, versus the eventual reality and like I I don't know I can't describe it but I had this massive image in my head of what the game would be and then the previews came out and they kind of doubled down on not understanding how the game worked even though they had played it right yeah so, yeah, um, yeah like they couldn't see how the individual pieces and mechanics fit together and they couldn't see through the the facade and into the code like in other words but yeah I now I kind of do, in a way. Yeah. Do you as well? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, which is a shame, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's like it's lost that mystery. But I, I definitely didn't for those first few hours. Same. Yeah. Um, I remember that that first night that I played it, and I don't, it, it, I don't know how to explain. This. It sounds so over the top, but how to explain the feeling because I haven't really experience that feeling that I did during those opening hours of Red Dead Redemption and it wasn't even it wasn't even as if I was like, oh my god this is amazing which I did think but it wasn't like it was just that it was it was like I was so it draws it draws you in and surrounds you and overwhelms you kind of doesn't it yeah yeah, yeah it's really overwhelming yeah um, and I think because it's so cinematic as well, you get this real, really strange sort of dichotomy in your in your brain where you can't work out where the um, cinematics end and where the control begins. Oh damn! Try and help there. I'm better off alone. We're riding with you. Come on, then. skip a, a certain cutscene towards the end because you uh <laughs> you, you kept tapping x after you were supposed to stop <laughs> yeah 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 that that was in the epilogue that was yeah. um that was when you're like building the house yeah so i was building the house and um i was tapping x for, for the nails and then it just sort of morphed in morphed out of the cutscene no morphed into the cutscene and I skipped that which really annoyed me it was the only blooming cutscene I skipped for the whole time I played it it was too, in, too immersed in the the house building role play there <laughs> yeah I mean this is such a weird um, uh, comparison to make at, at this particular point when I'm talking about hitting nails into wood but like that in itself even though that's so arbitrary and and pretty pointless to a degree like the whole hitting next uh, hitting x to nail the nail in but that in itself for me encapsulates one of the reasons why i prefer this over god of war i was about to bring up god of war yeah, <laughs> yeah. and it's because there was so little agency involved in god of war for such a large portion of it and um, whereas red dead tries to give you control of as many things as it can and um, as many parts of the game as it can yeah um, and obviously sometimes that's arbitrary and it's it's fairly pointless is the wrong word but it just tries to give you this feeling of control and um, but then even if it's like double tapping x to do something and i know a lot of people have problems with those things 
Yeah. Um, but it was something that. Yeah. That. I I would say, yeah, but the thing is right. Up until that point, the game hasn't really relied on that sort of action at all within gameplay or um, like missions or anything. And it comes the point of it is to be mundane because it's conveying a mundane task and it, like it lasts for a while but doesn't overstay its welcome. Um, exactly. It's entertaining yeah. as well uh, because of the context it comes up in. Like it, it's clearly thought out and it's placed there for a reason. Um, in comparison to something like, uh, yeah, if we're talking about God of War, you know, there, those things happen because they just relied on that for the game design. I'm not sure if I've described that properly, but um, I think so. I mean, I think you summed it up when you were like, um, it basically a- analogizes. Is that the word? Um, Jesus. The um. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say. It's an analogy for the action, yeah. in a way. Yeah. In and it, Red Dead and Rockstar actually are really good at that. But people complain about it actually, because you know when you double, when you tap X to sprint and stuff like that. And what Rockstar are trying to do with that is they're trying to make the player engage in an action, which is on some level mirroring the actions of the character. So. If you're if you're riding your horse and then you want him to go faster, you have to tap X as as to sort of kick the horse essentially, which in in rhythm with how fast you'd want the horse to go. Yep. And it seems arbitrary, but that's the reason that they do those things. My Siri has just randomly started doing stuff, even though I'm not even anywhere near it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's why they do those things, I think. Whereas, um, and yeah, as you said with the tapping the nail in that's exactly why they incorporate it in that manner yeah yeah there's a there's a similar thing um towards the end of the story not the epilogue um where you have to you know the way yeah you've just described there how you actually ride the horse you tap x um in rhythm with the horse's movements to go faster but there is a moment towards the very end of the game like you know what I'm talking about you know you hold X to ride like um, yeah get out of here the many miles we walk I haven't actually read people complain about that, funnily enough. But um, that's a very, very similar thing. Like, it's a, it's a mundane action, it's, and you might question, why am I even required to press anything? <laughs> it Because it, it takes no skill. Uh, no, no. You, you don't have to know the ins and outs of a controller to do it, but yet you're still being asked to do something, so why? And again, it makes sense because of the context, because it it's a sense of inevitability like you have to hold down that button to go to what like fate has demanded or whatever where the story is going and it comes at the perfect moment and it hasn't been used up until then so it just works yeah I that's exactly the, the kind of thing that i'm talking about yeah. yeah how it tries to give you control in a way which is kind of you know duplicate replic- replicates on some level the, the actions which the character is participating in um and and that that comes in terms of you know the mundanity or in some situations or the you know and people again people moaned about the walking through camp slowly yeah and i get i get it as a criticism don't get me wrong but i also think it's completely correct. Yeah. But Be- and because you know, if 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 you can get to camp and you're sprinting through it every time, like the il- a- the illusion is ruined. Of yeah, yeah. Like it looks ridiculous from a sort of a realist from a realism point of view. And yeah, you have to take that into account as well because that's clearly what the, the very structure of the game is trying to achieve is a certain level of realism. Exactly. So like they're placing that inhibition on you in camp in order to stay true to what their vision is and what. They kind of, in broad strokes, want your experience to be. At least Definitely, that's what I think. Anyway, I don't know. 
Yeah, and they spoke about how they wanted to make sure you couldn't do certain things with Arthur that wouldn't fit the character. And I think that sort of plays into that as well. Mm. Like, you know, he's no one's going to get into camp and sprint around and like run around in circles and then, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> which is which is what people would do when they got into camp and, you know, and then Rockstar would have videos all over the internet of like Arthur Morgan running constantly into Hosea kind of thing or like, and him falling over and probably <laughs> pushing him into the sea or whatever. Like, yeah. there's, there's so many things that you could do um you know in theory yeah. with that sort of mechanic and they didn't want that and they they tried to stop people from doing things like that and it's such a difficult balance for an open world game because they give you and rockstar probably more than anyone give you all this freedom um but then they wanted to just take a little bit of that freedom away just to just in the name of realism out of place, arthur we'll shoot you some space yes we need to take out that 